seeing the product come to life for the first time. That's, that's really an exciting moment. We're a company developing technically complex products. It can go from flying cars to ATM machines to uh, surgical tools. Everyday products that people use. Together with our customers, we, we go there from the start, from the inception of the uh, product idea to the end of realizing uh, the products. Yeah, I think a big part of our work is be the bridge between the strategy of a company and the final product. Take the client step by step into this new uh, innovation. The way we work, the client plays a, a very important role. He is actually part of the development team. Combining those efforts uh, often leads to very cool insights. You create something that is uh, valuable, but it's not screaming at you. It's like it's always been there. I think if the product looks so logical, did you, did you think, oh, why is it not there already? We don't want to make throwaway products, products that people really use. That's very exciting for me, because then you see, wow, this can make a new market or break a market. Seeing the product come to life for the first time, that's, that's really an exciting moment. You don't know where you go because you don't know it's not there yet, so you have to invent it. So when you start, you're going to explore all those things. You have a direction, you, you set a goal uh, from the start, but you already know this, this goal is going to move. So uncertainty is a big factor. Looking at the medical products that we do, they perform at the highest level. There is no room for mistakes. People in the studio here, in the team at Spark, encourage each other to, what if we can just twist that knob and to, to make it just that little better and to do just that, that little extra that makes a product exceed expectations. And if you reach the end goal, it's yes! <laughs> That's what you feel, right?